A brother and his sister finished school the same year. The brother studied engineering, while the sister studied French. After graduating, the brother got a job at a construction company, but the sister couldn't find work because there weren't many tourists visiting their country. The brother started buying new things, like a phone, clothes, and even planned to get a car. The sister felt sad and jealous because she didn't have a job, so she began treating her brother poorly. One day, the sister decided to create a website to translate texts between French and English. She soon got her first job translating and earned $100 for each task. Before long, she could buy everything she wanted and wanted to prove she was doing better than her brother. Later, while looking for a charger in her brother's room, the sister found some papers in French. They were the same texts she had been translating. She realized that her brother had been sending her the work all along, secretly helping her. There was a rich man who owned many fast cars. Every day he drove a different car, speeding down the streets. People would shout, you're going to crash, and he'd just shout back, I have 20 more. One day, he crashed into a woman's shop. She ran outside and yelled, hey loser, make sure you pay for all the damage. The man got out of his car, threw a big stack of money at her, and said, get yourself a bigger shop, then drove off. Another time, he hit a passenger bus. Many people were hurt and taken to the hospital. He paid for all their medical bills and even bought the bus driver a new bus. One evening, while speeding again, he crashed into a taxi that was turning. He passed out and woke up in the hospital. There he saw the doctor covering an old man who was the taxi passenger. The man was visiting his son as a surprise. The rich man moved closer and was shocked. It was his own father. No! What happened, doctor? He cried. This man had an accident with you yesterday. Sadly, he didn't survive, the doctor replied. That's my dad, doctor. I'll pay whatever you want. Please, just bring him back. I'm sorry, sir, said the doctor. Money can't buy life. There was a little boy who didn't like his parents, even though they gave him everything he asked for. Still, he always hated them. One day, his father said, let's go out as a family. The boy angrily shouted, no, I don't want to spend time with you. Later that evening, his mother tried to talk to him to solve the problems they had, but the boy kept yelling at her, saying, I hate you. His mother left the room crying. The next day at school, a new student arrived. The boy went up to her and asked, do you want to play? The little girl quietly replied, yes. Over time, they became best friends. One day, they were playing in the park when the boy boy's parents came and bought them ice cream. As they were leaving, the boy told the girl, I hate my parents. The little girl looked at his parents with sadness and said, I wish I had parents. They died when I was a baby. The boy was shocked and finally realized how lucky he was to have both of his parents. A woman was walking with her boyfriend when they spotted a stunning luxury car parked by a restaurant. I dream of sitting in that car someday, she said. That car costs $1.5 million, which is my 10-year salary, her boyfriend replied. They went into the restaurant, sat down, and ordered a meal. While waiting, she noticed her old classmate working behind the counter. She laughed and told her boyfriend that the man used to have a crush on her and was always a loser. She approached him and said, Hi, loser, you're just a waiter now, then laughed. After their meal, they paid and left the restaurant. Outside, she saw saw the car and asked her boyfriend to take a photo of her next to it. As she posed, the car's owner emerged. It was her old classmate. Shocked, she asked, you own that car? He smiled and said, yes, and I own that restaurant too. She hurriedly left her boyfriend and ran after him, saying, forgive me, can I be your girlfriend? He replied, sorry, do I know you? And drove away.